Okay, so first of all, I'm going to open up the comments bar. And the first option I have is to add a sticky note. So if I just click somewhere inside the document, I can then type in a note and post it. Then hover over the note and see what you wrote. And I can also click on the note and move it to a different place if I want to. Then another way of adding in a note is to right click and select add sticky note. And then you don't actually have to post the note. You can just click off of it and it will still be there. Then if you don't have the comments bar open and you add a sticky note, it will pop up looking like this. Then another way of adding a note is to use the keyboard shortcut control six and you will also end up with a note like that. Then if I right click and select properties, I can change the way the note looks. And then if I want to make that change permanent, I need to tick the make properties default box here. Then the next option I have is to highlight the text. So I can just click and drag to highlight the words I want. I can also underline words like this. And then if I right click, I can go to properties and choose to have either a straight line or a squiggly line, which looks like this. Then I can also strike through the text as well. And with each of these options, automatically there will be a pop-up here, which will let me add a note to explain that change, which I will then see if I hover over it. Then my next option is to replace the text. So I can select the text I want to replace and then type in what I want to replace it with. And I can also add in text and just click where I want to add in the text and then type it in. Then I also have the option of just putting in some floating text. And with this text, I can change the font and the size and the color and also either decrease the line spacing or increase the line spacing. Then I can also select the box and resize it and also move it around. Then I have the option of using a text box, which is very similar, but this time I have a box around the text and I can also change the way the text looks. And then if I select the box and go to properties, I can change the way the box looks. And okay. Then the next option is the line tool and I can change the thickness of the line using this bar here and then just draw lines. And then the erase tool can be used to remove the lines. The next option is to add a stamp and these will show various different pieces of information about the document. And you can add in more specific information about yourself if you want to. And then you just put the stamp somewhere in the document. Then this option here will let you attach a file or record some audio. And you can also add in some shapes as well. Probably the most useful is the text callout where you can click and drag and then get an arrow pointing to something with a text box. And again, you can change the way the text looks here and then resize the box or move the arrow. And then if you right click, 
you can change the properties of this. Then the next option here is the pin tool. So if, for example, I try and underline something, as soon as I finished underlining, it will automatically change back to the hand symbol. But if I select the underline tool and then pin it, I can underline multiple things and it will keep going until I unpin it again. And the pin feature will work with all of these options. Now the color tool will also work with all of these options and you can change their colors. So for example, I can change the highlighting to be pink. And then if I highlight something, it will now be pink. And also if I add a note to this, when I hover over it, that will also be pink. And then if I select over this again, the word that I've highlighted twice is going to be slightly darker. And then, for example, I can change the strike through to be black. And then when I strike through words, it will just be a black line. Now you can select text both ways. You can select the text first and then choose the option that you want to use or you can choose the option first and then select the text. You can also select a piece of text and then right click and choose from these four options. So you can highlight the text for example, or you could add a note to text, which will highlight it and then let you add a note at the same time. Also, you can select a word and then press delete on the keyboard and that will add a strike through to it. You can also select a word and then start typing the text that you want to replace it with and that will replace that word and you can also just add in some text by clicking where you want to add it in and then start typing. So these options you can use without actually having to select anything, but you do need for the comments bar to be open in order for this to work. Then if we have a look at the comments here, if I scroll down to a different part of the document and then click on one of the comments, it will take me back to that part of the document and I can reply to a comment. I can also copy the text from a comment and that will put it in my clipboard. I can also edit a comment and then I can change what I have written. And I can also edit a comment by double clicking on it. I can also set the status to accepted or cancelled or completed or rejected or none. And I can add a check mark, which is a little tick in the corner. And then I can remove the check mark by clicking on it. And I also have the option of just deleting the whole comment. You can also delete comments by just selecting them and pressing delete on the keyboard. And then you can also select a comment in the document and press delete on the keyboard or select a comment in the document and then right click and choose delete. Now up here, you can search the comments. So for example, I can search for the word note or you can sort the comments using various different options and you can also filter the comments. So for example, if I only want to see the sticky notes, then it will make everything else disappear. Or I can filter by color so I can show only the things in green and that will show me just the stuff that I have underlined. Or I can hide all of the comments and that will take me back to a blank document 
and then I can clear all to get the comments back again. And then if I click here, I can change the commenting preferences and this will give me a bunch more options for the comments as well. And then once I'm done commenting, I can close the bar up here. Okay, so in this video, I have shown you how to make comments in Adobe Reader, and that is everything.